everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And today I have a sneak peek for you from none other than the one with the diamond art. I have purchased several things from this company and have been very impressed with them. They are based in the UK. And I have been talking with Meg and Kathy, the friends that are owners of the one with the diamond art, and they asked me to help premiere a new collection that is coming out. It's not on their website yet, but as soon as I upload this video, they're going to be putting it up and you're gonna wanna see it. So let's head into the painter's place. I'll tell you a little bit more about this premiere and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. place. So I have this beautiful diamond painting to show you from the one with the diamond art. Uh, they, like I said, they are a UK based company. Um, and I have made several purchases from them. I've shown you a couple of diamond paintings. I opened one of their hampers. Um, that's kind of a mystery box that they send you and there are different levels of these ham uh, hampers. And I've been impressed with the canvases, impressed with the drills. And after this experience, I am even more impressed. So I'd been talking to Meg and Kathy, the owners of the one with the diamond art, just letting them know how much I loved their stuff. Um, you know, just asked a little bit about them. And uh, they asked me if I would like to help them premiere this new collection that is coming out uh, as soon as this video goes up. So head over to the one, I will link the one with the diamond art below in the description. It is a birthstone collection. Yes, birthstone. What's your birthstone? Mine is emerald. My mother always used to laugh at me and say, leave it to you, Kara. So your birthstone is one of the most expensive ones. I'm emerald. And so they let me purchase this ahead of time uh, to show you. And I'm excited. Um, so this one is emerald. They have. Uh, I do have pictures of the other uh designs that are coming out, whatever your birthstone is. But a little bit about this canvas. So this canvas came to me from the UK. And as you can see from the box, it had a trip. I mean, the postal service is not our friend when it comes to shipping diamond paintings. And the end of this diamond painting was pretty crushed, pretty crushed. Um, but I put it under books for a couple of days because I wanted to see how, how does the canvas bounce back? You know, we all get canvases sometimes that are crushed or it's wrinkled or what have you. And it has nothing to do with the company that, uh, produced the canvas. It just has to do with the dang postal service and them not reading that it's fragile or what have you. This flattened out beautifully. There is, I mean, and it was pretty crushed on, uh, this end right here. You can, can see a little bit, but not. I mean, and that just tells you these are poured blue canvases um, and this flattened out just beautifully. There are going to be no issues with this canvas. You can. I have not been brave enough to do it. Uh, I know I've spoken with Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment. She's done it. You take an iron on the cool setting and you can kind of iron the back of it. I just put this under books and from the condition that it was in when it got to me until now, it's like a thousand percent better. I mean, really. So um, that speaks a lot to the quality of their canvases. Um, these canvases are uh, softer on the back. They're felty feeling. Um, so, uh, and again, they are poured glue. So let me get rid of this dilapidated box and I'll show you what I got. Also, underneath in the description of this video, I will be putting, they gave me a discount code for you. So if you are interested in this collection or any of the other diamond paintings on the one with the diamond art and you just haven't gone to look at them, uh, go check them out. My discount code is the T-H-E Principal Painter. So it's the Principal Painter. Uh, that's all it is. It doesn't have a 10 or anything, no numbers or anything. I will link uh, or put the uh, discount code below also. You can get 10% off your purchase. So thank you, the one with the diamond art, for providing us with that discount. So this is poured blue, so I am going to roll it back. It is a 70 by 70 canvas. Poured glue. Um, this is, the title of this is Emerald. 
Um, that's my birthstone, and it is, it is by Dumont Estral. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I did not take French in high school. I took Spanish, um, so that's who it's by, um, and you get everything that you need to diamond paint in this, uh, in, in this rolled up canvas. So I will show you what you got while this is kind of hanging out in my lap. All right. So you get your toolkit. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the toolkit, but you get everything you need to diamond paint. This is their business card. And you can see this was at the end too. <laughs> these poor these poor cards and the canvas got a little crushed. It says, thanks from Megan Kathy, the one with the diamond art. It's got their uh, social media information. So again, I will link their website uh, below. Um, also, I am, I'm in Houston, Texas. They are in the UK. Shipping time was extremely reasonable. Like I said, I've ordered several things from them. Their shipping time is not long at all. Um, week and a half, two weeks about, maybe um, if that long. And from shipping from the UK, that is really, really good. So your toolkit comes, um, it's got a nice boat with a funnel, wax. Well, let me pull some stuff out. I love this feature of their toolkits. You do get some baggies for drill storage. Their tweezers are curved. I love these curved tweezers uh, for a lot of different things. I use uh, I use these type of tweezers in my DIYing, so uh, it's nice that they've got the curve. They are pointy and stabby. Keep the sheath on. Don't poke your eyeball out. The tray uh, comes with a funnel. It does have a pad of wax. This is more than enough to complete your project, but you get more in here. You do get uh, a diamond painting applicator pen, single placer. Another baggie, you get a squishy uh, for diamond painting comfort. For those of you new to the diamond painting game, you put this on your pen and I always struggle to get them on. I'm not, I'm not batting a thousand lately on these squishies getting on pens, but you put the squishy on your pen and it helps protect your fingers um, from hurting um, if you've got any type of you know um, joint arthritis, that kind of thing. Very nice organza bag. You do get three multi-placers. You get a two-placer, this looks to be a five or a six placer. I'm looking on here. I'm guessing it's probably a five placer. It's bigger than a four. Uh, this looks to be like an eight placer. I'm looking on these to see if I can cheat and see. They don't have them on there, but um, they are the thin plastic kind. So you have uh, three different varieties to pick from. Some more wax in a nice little container. Um, these waxes, oh, three pads of wax. Um, these waxes do have plastic on the top and the bottom. Take the plastic off or you will get no wax in your pen and some beautiful washi tape. This is gold foil washi tape and oh, it's a celestial pattern. You guys know I love celestial images. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's got a peachy pink background and the gold foil and you do get a really good bit of it so that is a very nice toolkit let me put all this aside we'll get into the drills in a minute but you want to see this painting i will show you you do get uh, an inventory sheet with your order you can put it through a xyron sticker maker and it's got lots of good information these are individually baggy drills you guys know i love my individual bags uh, it is a square kit which means the shape of the diamonds are square very nice bag that these drills come in it's heavy heavy duty plastic so you're not going to rip it like i'm famous for here is the drills to the side a minute here is your in, uh, are your inventory sheets. Let's see what we get with all of this. Lots of information here. I have not opened this. I, I, I did flatten it out and put it under books, but I haven't gotten into anything else. Here is the image of Emerald. Again, this is by Demont Estra, or phonetically, it's Demont's et Strauss. So if you're looking for it, um, you know, I didn't um, didn't want to say it that way because I, I know that's not how you pronounce it. Again, it's a 70 by 70 with ABs. Okay, so this has 50 colors in it. Oh my gosh, so, so it's a two-page inventory sheet. The first column on this inventory sheet is going to tell you how many diamonds that you, or how many colors, excuse me, that you have. That's how I know you have 50 colors. Um, you've got your symbols that you're going to match your drills up with to put on your canvas. The third column is your, D or are, excuse me, your DMC numbers. Um, when you go to the end, and with a lot of companies, it is this way. If you go to the end, 
Count how many honking ABs there are in this kit. One, two, three, four, five, six ABs in this kit. That is a lot of ABs. Love, love, love that. You know, I love to bling things out. All right. Then you have in your fourth column, you've got your quantity, which means how many drills are coming to you. Um, you know, 2,383, 44, uh, 4,432, but who's counting, you know, and, and also the weight, the weight is in grams, um, because it's always in grams. So that is what you get on your inventory sheet. Along with this, what I do with this is I'll cut this uh, particular picture out and put it in my log book. It tells you the size, all of that. And, um, yeah, I mean, just uh, a lot of great information there. I will put that inventory sheet to the side, but you want to see this beauty. So let's, oh, oh, y'all. <gasps> She's so pretty. I love her. Oh, my gosh. It is going to be, I'm telling you at first blush, it is going to be Confetti City. So those of you that are confetti lovers, you're going to have a heyday with this. But for those of you that are multi-placers, there are lots of opportunities to multi-place, but there is a lot of confetti in this, but you've got to have confetti to, to see the detail. It's a nice size. It's not ginormous, um, but in order to get the detail in her face, in her hair, I love how her hair is flowing. Love the ivy that's in her hair. Um, it's all flowing throughout her hair. Um, the rendering on the face looks beautiful and you're, you're going to have to have some confetti to get all those different skin tones to get some depth of the greens and the ivy and in her hair. Um, I just, I love it. Features of the canvas. It does tell you the size up at the top. It is branded with the one with the diamond art, um, their company. Uh, you do get schematics on the top right and lower left. I do wish they were a little bit bigger. You do have thumbnails of uh, your image on the top right and on the bottom left. And then down here at the bottom of the canvas in the far right uh, hand side, you do have uh, the one with the diamond art uh, website and their social media information, Instagram and Facebook. And then over here on the far left, you have um let's see the okay so it's the birthstone collection it is emerald uh it tells you the shape and the size of the canvas which is very very nice um and i know meg and kathy do have great customer service i've asked them several questions it's been uh, they've been answered very in a very timely manner so um i know that but isn't she gorgeous I took Miss Edith's tea party, which is another one from the one with the diamond art, to the retreat, and I didn't get a chance to start it because I talked too much, y'all. I just spent the whole time gabbing. All right, now that you've seen her and all of her beauty, before I show you the drills, let me, um, I did print out, yes, I wasted a lot of ink, nobody yell at me, but I wanted to show you some of the other designs available in this collection. So this is emerald. I, um, I'm not very sure what all of these are, but I just wanted you to see the beauty. All of these are by DeMont Estral. So we got that one. We have, oh, sorry, I'm trying to let you see it, but go fast. Love these beautiful, beautiful images of these, uh, of these ladies, or these girls, actually. And I may not have them all printed. I just wanted to show you a sampling. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the purple. I love that. We've got her. Some of these look like movie stars or similar to movie stars, right? Here we go. Here we go. I think this may be Sapphire. Love the blue. Ruby, possibly. Ruby, maybe. <laughs> Lots of beautiful red. So no matter what your birthstone is, they have the entire birthstone collection. So if you don't see yours here, it just means I didn't print it out. Here's another one that's kind of a combo of... Uh, blue and green. My sister's birthstone is opal. I'd be interested to know which one of these represented opal. So 
you know, um, we have seen uh, astrological signs. It's kind of fun to have a different way of commemorating your birthday. Let me turn her over and I will show you these drills. I'm not going to take 12 hours on it. I'll just show you the color palette. Like I said, they are individually bagged. And if I am going to have to be in a color city, let me be in this color. Look at these turquoises. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to put kind of all the color families together. Oh, these are beautiful. This is a light, light, light mint green. Oh my gosh. So pretty, so pretty. Another darker green. All in Ziploc bags. Very, very nice. Another shade of green. You're going to have a ton of different shades of that green in here. Lots of nature colors. I'm just going to set these out. But yes, I was very excited that they wanted to help me launch the premiere of this particular collection. <gasps> So many colors. Okay, we got ABs here. One, two, three. I got four ABs so far. Hmm, maybe I'm missing one. Let's see. All right, I'm going to put these up here to show you in a second. See, okay, I see some more ABs. No, never fear. There's supposed to be six, so I'm sure they're all here. Just pulling everybody out of the out of the bag. They're very. Um, they're labeled with the number. Um, that corresponds to your inventory sheet with these drills. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Maybe. Nope. These are, like I said, these are so sparkly. I thought they might be ABs. I'm looking. I'm looking, guys, just very carefully. Sometimes I miss them. All right. Okay, so here's another shade of green. So that is your color palette. Uh, I think those are absolutely beautiful. And here are your AB colors. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that captures facets of light and color from the drills around them and the environment and just makes them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. All right, so you're gonna have this cream color, AB 3078. Am I holding it correctly so they can see it? You're going to have a 3371. That's not a 310, but it, it's close. This beautiful 666, that color everybody loves. And you can see that, that coating. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmering on those drills. Here's another one, a lighter yellow. Here's a beautiful pink. And a 606, which is kind of a pinkier red than your 666. So those are your six AB colors. I'm going to hang on to these and put them in my lap so I can look for them on this canvas and tell you where they go. But what a beautiful color palette and every shade of green you can imagine if your birthstone is emerald. I'm sure it's the same way with all the other paintings. If it's Ruby, you're going to have a lot of red. If it's sapphire, you're going to have a lot of sh different shades of blue. So we are looking, looking, looking. I'm going to look on here because these schematics on the side are small and I have old eyes. Okay, so we are looking for, for the first one, let me put these all out here. 606, we're looking for like a no sign, like no smoking, no skateboarding, no, 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 I would think, yes. All right, it's gonna be in her lips. So her lips are gonna have, and, and it's right here on her pout line, you know, right where the light hits your bottom lip, that's where it's gonna be. That's that one, 605A, sorry, I'm cheating, I'm looking at my inventory sheet. 605A is a kind of a sideways omega, I'm thinking that's gotta go in her face too somewhere. Sideways omega. Let's look over here. Yep, you're going to have some in her eyes. You're going to have any in her lips. I don't see any. Any other sideways omegas? I don't see any more. Well, hmm. Let me look one more time at the symbol because, you know, when you're, when you're doing a diamond painting, do you make friends with your canvas? I make friends with my canvas, so I get used to the symbols and everything else. Yeah, they're going to be in her lips. 
some up here in her eyes and right below her eyes is where I see that that color all right 445 not a lot to write home about 445 okay it's kind of a backward C with a line through it there's so little of some of these it's gonna be hard to find it but it is a yellow that's interesting okay let's see if it's up here in these leaves and it, like I said, okay, it's gonna be in her hair, right here. Some of the highlighting in her hair, that's where it's gonna, that, that's where this is gonna be. But there's whole, not a whole lot to write home about. 666, we are looking for a, a regular Omega. I named my symbols too. That's also gonna be in her lips. It's speckled uh, throughout, a uh, few in the top of her lip and then a couple at the on her bottom lip. So that's where the 666 is gonna go. 3371, which again, almost looks like 310, but it is not. Okay, that's like a backward sigma. <laughs> I do know my uh, Greek alphabet. I was in a sorority and I had to memorize it. All right, it looks to be outlining her face. There are some in her eyes up here, her eyes up here. Um, let's see, any more in that dark, dark area yes some right here um you're gonna have a few sprinkled in this dark area surrounding her face and in the outline of her face and some here in her eye you are also going to have some over here in her lips and at the bottom of her lips so that's uh this 30 i love dark dark ab's because you can really see that coating that is so cool all right 30 78 let's see where that goes all right, that's um, a greater than or less than sign. The alligator mouth is open to the right, which means this hand is greater. <laughs> that is, that's also, it's that um, really pretty uh, light creamy yellow. That's gonna be in the highlighting in her hair. Um, let's see, and in her face, there's some right here on the side of her face, uh, highlighting her face. There's some in these leaves up here, highlighting those. And over here, I don't see any, let me see, let me check out these leaves at the bottom. I don't see any in the leaves at the bottom. So again, this is all for highlight. All right, guys. Again, this is the Birthstone Collection by DeMont Estra from the one with the diamond art. Go check them out. They have all of the birthstones, no matter what your birthstone is. Uh, it, they are beautiful images. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about possibly a new diamond painting company to you and the new collection that's coming out. I'm really excited um, to see some of these done. Um, the one with the diamond art does have a Facebook group. I've joined it. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting on that group and seeing some of these done in that group. So thank you, Meg and Kathy, for the, from the one with the diamond art for sending this out to me and letting me help you premiere this beautiful collection, the Birthstone Collection. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter and I am signing off.